Welcome everyone. My name is Mohammed Unwala and I'm a service architect here at Gladfast Consulting. Today, I'm here to give you a quick overview of one of the new uh, feature in Tokyo release called Manager Hub. In order for you to install the Manager Hub, your service now personnel have to activate it uh, from the service now store. So they can visit the service now store and download the applications from there. Once they have downloaded the application from the service now store, it will be available in all your instances. And you can always navigate to the plugins list and search for the manager hub application and maintain installation and update of that app going forward. Once you have the app installed, the next thing for you is to configure a few things. So one of the things that you might encounter is a restricted caller access approval messages. You can always navigate to the restricted caller access privileges list view, to filter the list down by the source scope equals to manager hub. And when you first come in, uh, they'll all be in the requested status. You'll have to change, update them to allow for it to function smoothly. The next thing you'll have to do is activate and execute a uh, add manager hub user role schedule job. When the schedule job runs, it considers the delta changes and assigns the manager hub user role to new managers only. On top of this, uh, you can also do few other uh, configurations, configure team requests, you can configure important dates, you can configure column con uh, team column, team data, team filter, as well as team daily stats. So now I'm gonna impersonate, I'm not gonna do any further configurations. I'm just gonna impersonate as a people manager and show you how, what they can view uh, when they log into the employee center. So now I've impersonated uh, Maria and I would go to my employee center portal. And then when I go to the employee center, I see a new menu header, which is called manager hub. And I can click on the overview for me to see uh, right off the bat, what's what are some of the upcoming team events? I see that I have a birthday, a team birthday, and a team anniversary coming up uh, this week. I can also look at if I have any team members that are currently on leave. And then uh, there are things that are that I need to focus as a people manager uh, as part of this quarter. I can also look at uh, my team by clicking on uh, your team uh, tab here. I can see all my uh, employees, my reportees that report to me, their uh, employment type, like full-time, contingent, temporary, part-time. I can also see whether uh, what's their current status. I can also see the location that they're located in and the time zone uh, as well. And obviously uh, their contact information. And lastly, uh, as a people manager, I have access to manager library. This uh, helps me grow as people leader because there are resources in here that I can leverage and lean on to become a better people manager. Uh, there are helpful articles. There are some uh, information about journeys, uh, quick links that are available to me, helpful resources, career development, uh, some of the upcoming webinars and manager events that are available. So all in all, uh, everything that I need to do better for myself and my team is available as part of this new feature called Manager Hub. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, take care.